Today we're going to take a look at the Igloo 40 quart versus the Yeti Tundra 45. This is part of the Sportsman series by Igloo and the Yeti Tundra is part of the Tundra series. This is a 45, that's only a model number, not necessarily the size. So with the Yeti Tundra 45, you're actually getting 37 quarts. With the Igloo 40, you're actually getting 40 quarts. So right off the bat, two differences that we have. The Igloo is in fact three quarts more than the Yeti Tundra 45, but very close in terms of the size. One of the biggest differences, and I think one of the top reasons people compare these two coolers is the price. The Yeti Tundra 45 is gonna run you about $445, and the Igloo 40 is about $250. So about a, a $180, $185 difference between the two coolers, and roughly the same size. In fact, you're getting more quart capacity out of the Igloo than you are with the Yeti. The Igloo is made in America, uh, made in the USA, and the Yeti is made in the USA as well as the Philippines. So two potential countries that your Yeti cooler could be coming from. On the outside, you'll notice a very similar latch system, uh, a ball and latch system on the Yeti and the exact same style system on the Igloo, but you'll notice that the Igloo is a much beefier latch. It's just almost twice as big compared to the Yeti. Uh, on the outside of these coolers, the absence of a ruler on the outside of the Yeti, whereas with the Igloo you actually have two rulers. You have a centimeter and an inch ruler on the outside and a raised textured surface for a cutting board, uh, bait, whatever you need to use this raised uh, surface on the outside of the Igloo. When you open this cooler you'll notice a difference as well. The Igloo has a notch in their hinge system. So about 90 degrees right there there's a little bit of a notch. That's to keep the cooler lid open. It's not going to blow closed because there's that little notch right there at about 90 degrees, whereas on the Yeti you don't have that. It's just a smooth open. But on the inside of both of these coolers, you're going to notice that freezer grade rubber gasket on the inside. That's going to keep the warm air out and the cool air in. Both of these coolers are certified grizzly proof, so you're fine taking both of these coolers out into your campground and a grizzly bear is not even going to be able to get in. Uh, a big difference on these two coolers is the handles. On the Yeti, you have a uh, nylon rope with a plastic piece as a handle and on the Igloo, you have an actual molded in plastic that is on a hinge system with a rubber insert here for easy grip. I like the handle on the Igloo better, it just feels more robust. And sometimes with the Igloo you can find that you're banging or when you're carrying with two people that it, it actually can flex, the cooler can sway. Whereas with the Igloo this is a solid built in, it's, there's no movement, only up and down, not side to side. You'll also notice a huge difference on the drain plugs on the Yeti. One inch drain hole with a small drain field, whereas on the Igloo you have a much la larger drain field and a two inch drain plug that is attached. So you're never going to lose this drain plug, it's attached with a little chain here, which is a nice addition because drain plugs all all too often go misplaced and then you're left without a drain plug. So a nice addition on the Igloo uh, cooler versus the Yeti with the drain plugs. I think one of the, again I'm going to hammer this point that the reason I think a lot of people are comparing the Igloo versus the Yeti is the price point. You're getting a 40 quart cooler here, you're getting a 37 quart cooler. You're paying $445 roughly for the Yeti Tundra 45 whereas with the Igloo 40 made in the US say you're paying about $250. So a huge difference in price. The quality to me it almost seems that the Igloo is a beefier cooler. You'll notice just by looking at it it's a taller cooler, a narrower cooler whereas a Yeti is a much wider cooler. So we're going to find out just how these two coolers stack up against each other because everyone wants to know is it worth paying that extra $150, $180 for a Yeti cooler versus an Igloo cooler. Be sure to stay tuned for our five day ice challenge where we check out just how long the Igloo can hold ice against the Yeti as well as the Ingle, the Pelican and several other high-end roto molded coolers and be sure to visit CoolersOnSale.com to read our full in-depth article on the Igloo line of roto molded coolers. Five day ice challenge for the Yeti Tundra 45. Again, 37 quarts on this cooler. Held up better than I expected and longer than I expected against some of these other high end roto molded coolers. We just drained the water out and you saw inside we have uh, 
a little bit of ice. I would anticipate this goes another day, just about another day worth of ice in here. Uh, drained nicely, no uh, water is left in the bottom, it's just ice. Uh, so right now I can say that the Yeti Tundra 45 can definitely make it five days of use. And I would anticipate it would go maybe six or possibly seven days of use if you're not really using it intensely. But this has been the results for the Yeti Tundra 45 on the five day ice challenge. Five day ice challenge results for the Igloo Sportsman Series 40 quart cooler. This is about the same size as a Yeti Tundra 45. Actually, it's three quarts more. Uh, solid performance, went five days, no problem. Uh, drained extremely fast, as you just saw there. Uh, that two inch drain hole really pours out the liquid. And the ice remaining, I would say, is on par with the Yeti Tundra, slightly behind the Ingle Deep Blue and the Pelican. Uh, about another day, possibly two days worth of ice. Solid performance from a 40 quart cooler at of a, of a cost than the Yeti Tundra and about the same amount of ice remaining after five days. So keep that in consideration. If you're considering an igloo, uh, you're getting a really solid mid cooler that can handle ice for five days. About the same amount of ice retention as a Yeti Tundra, uh, but again at a significant discount. So this has been the five day ice challenge for the igloo sports 40 quart. Stay tuned, we're going to take a look at the Igloo Sportsman 55 quart and you'll see if there's much of a difference between a 40 quart cooler and a 50 quart cooler in terms of ice retention. Is it worth having more ice, less ice? What's going to hold ice longer? We'll splice in a head-to-head -head comparison of the Igloo 40 versus the Igloo 55. Just so you can see, same brand, same model, uh, just a different quart size. And again, of course, we will match up the Igloo versus the Yeti Tundra 45. So you can see about the same amount of ice after five days. Again, Igloo 40 quart.